What's up guys? Today I'm going to explain to you how to use overlays and I'm also going to explain how to use these different type of blending modes so you know how to use them in the right situation. If you want to follow along with the tutorial but you don't have any overlays you can always go to the description down below and there I will leave some overlays that I frequently use. All right let's get right into the video. All right so we got this clip and then I got this overlay for today. So first I'll go over all the blending modes so I can show you what you can do with this overlay. So we'll leave it on this frame and then to change the blending mode, you can go to here. And then if you don't see this, you can just go down here and enable this button. All right, and then if you click on the drop down menu, you can see all the blending modes. As you can see, there's like these lines, so they indicate different categories. And basically all the blending modes within the same category uh, will look very similar. So for example, this first category, uh, by the way, these top three uh, blending modes, you don't really got to worry about them. So they're just a normal one, so nothing happens. And then these two are kind of just weird things. So we'll go over the first category, and this is mainly to cut out the bright parts. So as you can see, we have some black parts and some white parts in our overlay. And then if we select a blending mode within this category, for example, multiply, you can see that the white parts disappear. So it's kind of transparent. Here we can see it better. We can see the clip below it through the brighter parts but where there's black, you can see it. And this is basically the same for every single one of these. So for example, linear burn, it does kind of the same. It's always just a little bit different, like a different type of colors or a bit more or less of the effect. All right, the next category is kind of the opposite. So now we'll remove the black parts. For example, screen, all it does is it removes the black parts and it keeps the um, brighter parts. So as you can see, and then add, it does the same thing just a little bit differently. And then this one, Linear Dodge, I like this one a lot. It will basically do the same thing again, but just a little bit brighter. All right, then the next category, this one is kind of like a combination of the two. So for example, overlay, don't get confused because I know what we're using right now is an overlay, but the blending mode overlay is not always the right choice. So sometimes it can look good, but it doesn't make the darker parts disappear completely. So that's not really useful if you want to remove everything. So then again, within this category, they're quite similar. For example, vivid light, as you can see, just a little bit more harsh. And this time it kind of keeps the blacks completely. And then hard mix is the most extreme one. And you would use this for like glitch type of edits uh, with like a vibe edit or a normal kind of edit. You wouldn't really use this, but it could look cool when you're doing kind of like a glitch. All right, then the next category, it's kind of the more special creative category uh, because as you can see, if we select difference, it does something completely different than the other things. What this does is it also removes the blacks, so the darker parts. And then what it does is it keeps the bright parts but it just inverts them, so the colors are inverted. And then um, with classic difference, it's basically the same thing. So as you can see here, there's not really a difference with the previous one, but um, sometimes it can look different, so you just gotta try them out. Then the next one, exclusion, this one is like a less harsh version of it. And then subtract, what this does is it basically takes the bright parts and then it makes them really dark. So sometimes you can see a bit of color, like here, the red parts. But yeah, most of the time it will just make it completely black. And then the last thing, divide. Uh, this one looks kind of weird sometimes. It will look better on like a text effect because as you can see, if you use it on an entire clip, yeah, you've got this kind of weird glitching going on. But again, for like glitch edits, it could look good. All right, then we got another uh, small category. So this one is basically for keeping certain uh, effects, like the hue. So as you can see on our overlay, there are some colors here. And then if you use the blending mode hue, as you can see, it will keep these colors um, and then the rest will be gray. Then the next one is saturation. It will basically do the same thing. It will just make the parts that have more color uh, visible and then the other parts will get gray. Then color, it's almost the same as hue, but this time it will keep the actual colors of your um, overlay. So as you can see, if you put it to normal, these are like the actual colors. So as you can see, they just keep it. And then the last one, Luminosity. And this one will basically take the colors of your clip and apply them to your overlay. All right, and then the last category, uh, by the way, these last two, they aren't really important. So as you can see, they don't do much. But these ones, in fact, are uh, more interesting. So when you go to Stencil Alpha, it won't show with this clip. But basically, when you have a clip that's only black and white, it will make sure that the white parts shine through. And then Stencil Luma, I can showcase this one because as you can see, uh, this one also takes the gray parts. So not only pure white or pure black, it will also take in mind the gray parts. So as you can see, those are transparent. And then the last thing you need to know is Silhouette Alpha and Silhouette Luma. It will basically invert the action. So if you pick Silhouette Luma, for example, 
Now it will show the black parts and not the white parts. All right, that's all for the blending modes. But now I also want to show you something else you can do with overlays and it has to do with transitions. So I'll grab another overlay really quick. And by the way, this one will also be in the description down below. So this is like kind of a typical overlay to add on a transition. As you can see, these are some light leaks and we're going to make a transition with it. So just hide it for now. And then let's go to here and then unhide it. And then here you can go to um, a blending mode. So again, it has a black background and we basically want to show the brighter parts. So we're going to use the blending mode linear dodge, but you can also use any other overlay within this category. And now what you can do is just drag it around until it's completely covered like this. And then as you can see, it's more smooth now. So you won't notice there's like a harsh cut in it. So yeah, hopefully you've learned a lot. And if you did, make sure to subscribe. And if you want me to help you even more with After Effects, then go to the first link in the description down below. All right, bye-bye.